This is a brief summary of our latest blog article. For more in-depth coverage, please review our latest article on this topic. GATA2 deficiency is the leading hereditary cause of pediatric myelodysplastic syndrome, MDS. Despite its significance, it remains underdiagnosed due to nonspecific symptoms. Early identification is crucial for effective treatment, particularly before irreversible complications arise. Symptoms of GATA2 deficiency vary widely, even within families. Common manifestations include unexplained cytopenias and recurrent infections. Systemic symptoms may appear before hematologic signs, complicating early diagnosis. Despite strong associations with myeloid malignancies, only around 500 cases have been reported worldwide. Many lack a known family history, further complicating detection and diagnosis. The GATA2 gene is vital for hematopoietic stem cell maintenance. Disruption affects immune pathways leading to diverse symptoms. Understanding its role helps in recognizing the syndrome's complexity and potential treatment pathways. Originally seen as separate conditions, Monomac and Emberger syndrome are now unified under GATA2 deficiency. Phenotypic features include cytopenias, infections, and lymphedema, with severity varying due to genetic and environmental factors. Persistent HPV and treatment-resistant warts are common in GATA2 patients. Mild cytopenias often go unnoticed in routine tests, while recurrent infections signal deeper immunologic dysfunction. GATA2 deficiency is often confused with aplastic anemia and autoimmune disorders. Misdiagnosis can lead to inappropriate treatments. Recognizing unique lab findings is key to correct diagnosis. Laboratory red flags include monocytopenia with preserved immunoglobulins and loss of dendritic cells. Bone marrow findings often show hypocellularity with multilineage dysplasia. Standard exome sequencing may miss pathogenic variants. RNA analysis and non-myeloid tissue testing improve diagnostic accuracy. Understanding testing limitations is crucial for accurate diagnosis. Consider testing in young adults with cytopenia and recurrent infections. Family history of hematologic disease is a significant indicator. Early diagnosis allows for potentially curative treatments like HSCT. GATA2 deficiency presents a major diagnostic challenge due to its broad clinical spectrum and overlap with more common conditions. This rare genetic disorder can manifest as a puzzling array of symptoms, ranging from persistent cytopenias and severe viral infections to pulmonary disease, lymphedema, and early-onset myeloid malignancies, often leading to delayed or missed diagnoses. Recognizing key clinical patterns is critical for timely identification, including the following. Chronic monocytopenia with preserved immunoglobulin levels. Refractory HPV infections. Hypocellular bone marrow with megakaryocytic dysplasia. Family history of early onset MDS or AML and unusual constellations of lymphedema, pulmonary dysfunction, and cytopenias. The only curative treatment, allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, HSCT, is most effective when performed early before the onset of severe infections or malignant progression. Delays in diagnosis drastically reduce transplant success and long-term outcomes. Ultimately, the greatest obstacle is not a lack of treatment options, but failure to recognize the disease. Clinicians must maintain a high index of suspicion when encountering unexplained cytopenias, recurrent infections, or family histories of hematologic malignancies. Early identification enables proactive monitoring, infection prevention, and timely HSCT, interventions that can dramatically alter the disease course. Improved outcomes depend on multidisciplinary collaboration among hematologists, immunologists, geneticists, dermatologists, and infectious disease specialists. With greater awareness and broader genetic testing strategies, we can reduce diagnostic delays and offer life-saving interventions to those affected by this complex yet treatable disorder. If you found the content valuable, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Your support helps us continue delivering high-quality, evidence-based medical content tailored to healthcare professionals like you. We have more in-depth topics and clinical insights coming soon, so stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.